Happy Wednesday, friends. It's your Pastor Daryl from Washington Church of the Nazarene on the corner of South Meridian and National Highway at that blinking light. If you do not have a church home, please feel free to give us a try. Uh, looking forward to an awesome service this week. It's something I love to research, It's and I have a feeling that you might love hearing it. So there's your little hint of what it might be about. I have no idea. I'm really not too subtle with hints. But I, I can't get over the joy that I've had here recently and the way that the Lord is blessing this little church. Um, it just brings us joy. I remember that song from when I was in children's church and teaching children's church. That old song, I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. And it is down in my heart to stay. Um, I love the promise of, of John chapter 15 verses 11. He says, you know, I've told you these things in the previous verses that you may have my joy, his joy, his unfiltered joy, his full joy, his pure joy, and that your joy may be made full. What a promise. Is your joy full today? Is it his joy? Is it a temporary joy? Or is it a permanent joy? You want to know how to fill up on that joy? Look at John chapters 15, verses 5 through 10. It tells you all about how to get that full joy, his joy. This was coming straight from the mouth of Jesus. And John recorded this, these, these words from Jesus. So they're in red. And as my late uncle would, would tell me, those, those red letters, we, they're very important. We've got to pay attention to them. So take a moment, look into John chapter 15, verses 5 through 10, and find out for yourself what will bring you his joy, and a joy over, overflowing. Until next week, have a great week. I look forward to next week's Weekly Minute where you might see some of my family. Have a great day. Until next time.